Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 553. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about 11 reasons to get umbrella insurance. Now, it's not often that I talk about insurance on the podcast because... Well, it's not usually one of the most interesting topics, for me anyway, or probably for you as well, but it's one of those things that you just need to talk about because you need to own it. And I did mention this in You're Already a Wealth Heiress, Now Think and Act Like One, Six Practical Steps to Make It a Reality Now, my book, on page 130. I did mention a personal umbrella policy. Here's what I had to say. One of the best insurance investments you can make to protect your wealth is a personal umbrella policy. Personal umbrellas provide substantial additional coverage above your auto and homeowner's insurance. For example, if you are sued for one and a half million dollars due to a car accident and you have a $2 million policy, your auto coverage will pay the first $300,000 and your umbrella policy would pay for the balance of 1.2 million. The personal umbrella policy also covers some lawsuits for things like slander, libel, defamation of character, rental property accidents, false arrests, mental anguish, freak accidents, dog bites, and other damages. Umbrella policies for $1 to $5 million of coverage are common and cost only a few hundred dollars per year, a very smart investment. Be sure to consult your policy and agent for details. So that's what I said in my book about the umbrella policy. And I found this article on Kiplinger.com. I found this article and I thought, you know, this is the perfect article bringing up really good points. And this is probably a good time for us to delve into why you want to have an umbrella insurance policy. This was written by Pat Mertz Icewine and Kimberly Langford. And we're actually going to go through 11 reasons that they have selected why an umbrella insurance policy is super important. Now, in case you didn't catch the one thing that really stands out, and that is you get a lot of coverage for a very little premium. So in other words, you're buying a million, two million, five million dollars worth of coverage, depending on what your income is and what your assets are worth, what your net worth is, but you're getting it for a hundred to a few hundred dollars. I mean, really great leverage for your money in terms of what it buys for you. Now we're gonna talk about the 11 reasons they say you need umbrella insurance right now. And the article says, an umbrella insurance policy can protect your assets and future earnings from expensive lawsuits. This type of policy increases the liability limits beyond the coverage offered by your auto and homeowner's insurance policies. Catastrophic financial loss could occur in seconds, says Anna Robick, Chief Operating Officer of Chubb Personal Risk Services. The cost of a lawsuit, medical expenses, and legal fees can devastate your savings, but you can buy an umbrella policy that can provide millions of dollars of coverage for hundreds of dollars in premiums. You can usually add $1 million of extra coverage for about $150 to $350 per year, and each additional $1 million of coverage costs $75 to $150. You generally need to have at least $300,000 in liability coverage from your home insurance and $250,000 per person and $500,000 per accident of bodily injury coverage from your car insurance first. And then they offer an umbrella insurance calculator to help you estimate how much coverage you need. So let's get on with the reasons why you need umbrella insurance right now. Number one, you have a teenage driver. 
The risk of having an accident rises significantly when a driver is young, which is why auto insurance premiums are so high when you add a teen to your policy. An umbrella policy can pay out above the liability limits on your auto insurance policy if your teenager has an accident and injures somebody else or damages their car. It's also a good idea for drivers of all ages to add underinsured slash uninsured motorist coverage up to the liability limits of their umbrella policy. This protects you from damages and injuries caused by a driver who doesn't have insurance or has too little liability coverage to cover your bills. It usually costs $100 to $200 per year to add uninsured, underinsured motor coverage to your umbrella policy. Yeah, that's a great point. If you have a teenage driver, you're at a lot of risk because if they got into an accident, you know that whoever has been injured is going to come after you with everything they've got. And you want to have that extra insurance protection to pay for whatever that lawsuit brings. So yes, I think that is definitely a very important reason to have this umbrella insurance. And by the way, just to be clear, I'm not selling insurance. I'm not recommending any particular brand of insurance or sending you to any page to buy insurance. This is just strictly educational because I believe it's that important to cover your risks. Number two, you don't choose your words wisely. Social media gives you and your children multiple outlets to express yourself. But if your remarks cause others harm, they can sue you for personal injury. Nationwide Insurance offers these examples. You vent frustration about your kitchen remodel in an online review, and the contractor sues you for loss of business. Or your teenager forwards an inappropriate picture of a classmate to his friends, and the classmate's parents sue everyone who saw it. You might also be at risk if you write a letter to the editor, picket a business, or speak out at a town council or school meeting. Wow, that's kind of shocking. But I guess if it's coming right from an insurance company, they're probably telling you real cases where they had to pay out. It goes on to say, most homeowners insurance policies provide coverage for personal injury up to the limits of your liability coverage. If yours doesn't, you can probably add it by buying a bundle of extra coverages that typically cost $50 to $100 a year, says Spencer Hoodlin, president of Erickson Insurance Advisors in Washington Depot, Connecticut. Beyond that, you'll need umbrella coverage. A personal injury claim, however, will be excluded from any coverage if you intentionally say something to harm someone else by lying, for example. Well, that was very interesting, wasn't it? <laughs> there were some things in there I wasn't really aware of could cause some problems. Number three, you party hardy. Entertaining brings with it all sorts of risks, such as a guest who falls on your property or is injured diving into your pool. And then there's the social host liability. That's the legal term, also known as dram shop liability, for the criminal and civil responsibility of someone who provides liquor to his or her guests. According to the Insurance Information Institute, 43 states have a version of this law. Generally speaking, if your guests, including your underage kids and friends who have imbibed, leave the party and injure others while driving under the influence, they and you could be sued for negligence. Check with your insurance agent to find out what your liability is in your state, what covers your homeowner's policy provides to social hosts, and what additional protection you might need through umbrella coverage. Yep, that makes sense to me. Anyone who entertains is at risk for someone drinking on your property and then getting into an accident and again, coming back to sue you. Number four, you have a swimming pool. Any homeowner could be sued if someone is injured while visiting their home, but the risk gets much higher if you have a swimming pool where someone can have a life-changing head or neck injury or drown. There can be a tragic scenario with lifelong care issues, says Chubbs Robick. Your homeowner's insurance under its medical payments coverage can pay some of the medical expenses, but the liability coverage and umbrella policy can help with some of the more expensive long-term care needs. Number five is you own a trampoline. Recreational use of a trampoline is so dangerous that the American Academy of Pediatrics has long urged parents not to let their kids use one. 
Three quarters of injuries occur when multiple people are jumping, especially an adult with a child. Case in point, in 2012, a woman in New York State joined her nephew in jumping on his home trampoline. When the child jumped out of sync with her, she was thrown off balance. Her foot struck the mat and she fractured multiple bones in her foot, resulting in multiple surgeries, ongoing pain, an altered gait, and the likelihood of future arthritis and more surgery. In 2016, a jury awarded her $220,000 for past pain and suffering and $580,000 for future pain and suffering. Umbrella insurance typically covers the same things as the liability portion of your underlying homeowner's insurance coverage. If you're thinking about getting a trampoline or already have one, check your homeowner's coverage. A trampoline like a swimming pool is considered an attractive nuisance, meaning it may tempt others to use it without the owner's permission. Insurers may forbid them entirely and cancel your homeowner's policy if they find out you have one. They may also exclude coverage for claims arising from it, charge a nuisance surcharge, or require netting or a locked fence to limit access to it, according to Lawrence and Associates, a law firm in Cincinnati, Ohio. Once you've got the underlying coverage squared away, you can look into umbrella insurance. Wow, isn't that really interesting? I had no idea that trampolines were a seemingly common cause of accidents that are so serious. Number six, you're on a nonprofit board. If you serve on a nonprofit board, you could be at risk if someone sues the group and its directors. The biggest exposure is for things like bad decisions, harassment claims, libel, or slander, says Bill Wilson, founder of the insurancecommentary.com blog. Most nonprofit boards have directors and officers insurance that protects these people from lawsuits, but ask about the coverage and the limits. Unfortunately, many boards have low limits, says Robic of Chubb. Say they have a million dollars in liability limits and there are 14 members on the board, she says. If there's a claim that names the 14 board members and the board itself, it could reach those limits and leave you exposed. Your umbrella policy may be able to protect you beyond those limits. You may need to buy an endorsement to add that coverage to your policy. Well, I've been on nonprofit boards and we did have special insurance for the directors. But they make a really good point that it could be low coverage and not enough for certain kinds of lawsuits. So that's something to really be aware of. Number seven, if you coach a youth sports team, you might also need umbrella insurance right now. And it says, before you sign up to coach a youth sports team, ask what coverage the league or sponsor has to protect you from lawsuits if... For example, someone's car is dented by a fly ball or a child is injured in a game or practice. Many leagues have liability insurance, but it's a good idea to ask your insurance agent whether you should get extra coverage as an individual, says Wilson of the Insurance Commentary blog. I'd recommend having an umbrella policy and I'd increase my homeowner's insurance medical payments coverage to the maximum in case you injure someone, he says. Make sure there is no exclusion for athletic activities. All right, the eighth reason you might need an umbrella insurance policy is you have a long commute. The more miles you drive and the denser the traffic, the greater your risk of having an accident. In 2018, 40,000 people died in car crashes and 4.5 million were seriously injured, according to the National Safety Council. When car accidents result in injury or death, drivers, their passengers, families, or estates can sue for recovery of past and future medical expenses, lost wages, or earning capacity, as well as pain and suffering. A spouse or family member of the injured party can sue for loss of consortium, which is the benefits of a spousal or family relationship. That was the case in 2013 when a 63-year-old Maryland man was stopped at a stop sign and a pickup truck swerved and hit his vehicle, ejecting the man from his car, according to verdictsearch.com. The man died. The offending driver admitted that he had fallen asleep at the wheel. The widow successfully sued and was awarded two and a half million dollars. Wow, how unfortunate is that? But car accidents are so common and that is something that's great about the umbrella policy as it goes over and above your regular coverage because some accidents can be very costly and definitely can exceed your coverage. Number nine, your good dog has a bad day. 
Bites and other dog-related injuries added up to almost $700 million, more than one-third of all homeowners' liability claim dollars paid out in 2017, according to the Insurance Information Institute and State Farm. In one case in 2012, a New Jersey woman was watching her friend's dog, a mix of German Shepherd and Chow Chow, in their home, according to VerdictSearch.com. When the woman rose from a chair, the dog jumped, bit the woman's face, knocked her backward, and stood on her until she beat it off. She required surgeries for a facial laceration and back injuries, as well as physical therapy and management of chronic pain. The woman sued the dog owners. A jury awarded her $100,000 for the facial injury and $750,000 for her back injury and her husband $100,000 for loss of consortium. Again, because an umbrella policy typically covers the same things as your underlying homeowner's insurance, review your policy to see if it covers animal liability. Some policies include a canine liability exclusion for bodily injury or property damage due to direct physical contact with your dog. Some policies exclude coverage of certain animals, breeds of dog, or working dogs, such as service, therapy, or guard dogs. Others limit coverage to $25,000, even if your policy has a higher overall liability limit. Once you've got the underlying coverage you need, get the umbrella. Yeah, dog bites are very common, especially pit bulls. Of course, we've heard a lot in the news and other situations, but sometimes the dog can just have a bad day and you don't know what's really setting it off, like in this example I just read. So it's good to have that extra coverage that the liability provides so cheaply. Number 10, you have a second home. The more houses you own, the greater your exposure to liability. Plus, unlike your primary home, a second or vacation home more likely will be unoccupied and unsupervised for long periods. Your risk goes up if your homes have a so-called nuisance risk, such as a swimming pool or hot tub that may lure uninvited guests in your absence. Renting out your primary or secondary home over the short term or long term is another source of risk. Your standard homeowner's policy may not cover losses incurred while your home is rented. And you may need specialized homeowner's coverage, an endorsement to your current homeowner's policy, a business policy, either a hotel or a bed and breakfast policy, or a landlord or rental dwelling policy, says the Insurance Information Institute. An umbrella policy can provide additional protection and take steps to make sure your property is secure against uninvited guests. Yes, and also with everyone renting out property these days through vacation rental by owner, VRBO, or Airbnb, you want to make sure by talking with your insurance agent that you have coverage for such renters in case of an accident in your home during the rental period. And number 11, you need an umbrella insurance policy if you hire domestic help. If you employ domestic workers, such as a nanny, housekeeper, or cleaning person, gardener, or caregiver for an elder in your home, you may need more than an umbrella to protect you from liability. Multiple layers of protection include liability coverage under your homeowner's policy, an umbrella policy, an endorsement to either of those, and workers' compensation coverage. Allegations by domestic workers of wrongful acts, such as discrimination, Wrongful termination or sexual harassment by their employers are on the rise, says Chubbs Robick. An endorsement for Employment Practices Liability, or EPL, coverage will protect you against those types of claims. Your state may require you to purchase workers' compensation insurance to cover medical expenses and lost wages for an employee who suffers an injury while on the job. Check with your state's Department of Labor or see Chubbs Guide. In states where workers' comp is required, it's part of the liability portion of a homeowner's policy or it's available by endorsement. In states that don't require it, you may need to shop widely for a specific provider because not all personal lines insurers offer it. Workers' comp isn't covered under umbrella policies, says Robic. If you hire domestic help, not to mention contractors, caterers, and decorators, to work in your home through a third-party agency or vendor, ask to see its certificate of insurance. If the vendor's employee is injured on site, its commercial liability policy will cover the associated costs. End of article. 
Well, again, I thought this was very enlightening. There were things in here that I hadn't seen for a while that make a lot of sense. I do have quite healthy umbrella insurance coverage and I recommend it for most people. Again, it's a very inexpensive source of maximizing your insurance coverage and making sure that should you have some kind of one-off strange claim, you have enough coverage that your insurance company will take care of it. One important thing about wealth building is always to protect your wealth. That's step six of the six steps to wealth. And so protecting your wealth involves insuring yourself properly so that you minimize risk and maximize shifting that risk to someone else, such as an insurance company. Again, this is done really cheaply with umbrella policies and something that I think is often overlooked by people, unfortunately, because they're just not aware about umbrella insurance. So I wanted to bring this to your attention, make you aware that this exists out there, what are the reasons to own it, and if there were a few things on here that are active in your life, this is something that you wanna take some action on, talk to your insurance agent, and make sure you've got proper coverage for these things. I will post a link to this article in the show notes and on my website podcast page where the full library of all 553 podcasts are available. If you haven't yet answered our survey, please take a moment and answer 10 quick questions that tell me about you and what you'd like to hear on the podcast. That way I can tailor make episodes just for you. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.